What in the world is happening in Saudi Arabia? I'm a big TV series fan, but what's going on with the oil-rich monarchy has eclipsed all I'm watching these days. Picture this. Lavish hotels turn into prisons. Super-rich princes become prisoners. Mounting tension, proxy wars and events happening so quickly, it's so hard to keep up. In the center of all this, a young crown prince, Mohammed bin Salman. He has arguably established himself as the most powerful figure in the Arab world. But to understand how Saudi Arabia is changing now, we need to go back in time in the tale of a not-so-ancient kingdom. There was one man, Abdul Aziz Al Saud. He founded the third Saudi kingdom. By the time he dies, it stretched from the Gulf to the Red Sea and from Iraq to Yemen. The king has several dozen sons. He wants the crown to pass from one to the other. Oil is the country's main source of wealth, and the brothers become leaders of clans. The balance has always been kept in a check by dividing pillars of power among them. And this is how things go for decades. Slow, stable, and pretty much predicted. Salman bin Abdelaziz is now king. Most of his brothers are dead. And it looks like the crown would now be handed to the next generation. Mohammed bin Naif, the king's nephew, becomes crown prince. This ensures that the throne moves between the different branches of Al Saud family. That was then. Enter our main character, ailing King Salman, quickly names his ambitious young son Muhammad deputy crown prince. Fast forward two years, King Salman outs Muhammad bin Naif, and Muhammad bin Salman becomes heir to the throne. This breaks the kingdom's traditional line of succession. And on one day, it all turns into a house of cards plot. Almost overnight, Mohammed bin Salman rounds up his royal rivals and opponents at once. Among them are billionaire businessmen and the head of the National Guard. Power is consolidated in one man's hand in a way the kingdom has never seen before. He wants a kingdom that could live without oil. Women can drive and can run for elections. Foreign policy that is bolder than ever. He's pledging a new Saudi Arabia. Now this looks like a good end line, right? Not really. Against this backdrop, there are huge challenges. His latest power gamble may slow his economic vision and scare investors away. His regional policies are quite confrontational. Saudi is involved in a war of words with Iran and an actual war in Yemen. It's anyone's guess where the country goes from here and how the story of this young prince will pan out. But I know one thing. I won't be needing Netflix anytime soon.